What's up guys, it's Colton Stewart here with Teach to Inspire. And today we're just gonna kinda talk about a few things. So come along with me, I'm gonna kinda vlog today. So we'll see you soon, bye. Okay, so right now I'm actually heading to the deli. Um, it's a place that we like to go to for lunch. Uh, my wife is sleeping right now because she is at, she has to work third shift tonight. So I'm just gonna take you guys along for the ride and we're gonna go pick up some food and gonna go by the grocery store and just see what it's like to, to be off for the day when your wife has to work third shift. Hey, well, I'm back from the store, but man, it was kind of a uh cold outside just let's just say that it's kind of cold outside okay as you can tell by this window over here if there's water on the window it's really nasty outside and rainy outside today so um, we're just gonna kind of be talking about a few things today um, kind of vlog style but uh, you know today is Veterans Day and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about why it's important to my family um, my dad was in the military. My both of my first cousins were in the military, um, two in the Army branch and one in the Marines. And so my family's just had a uh, a lot of time in the military, so to speak. And and so every time this day comes, I just have to stop and think about all the men and women that fight for our rights and and our right to be free in this country and basically do what whatever we want, you know, with following the rules and everything. And, and I, I was talking to my wife the other day about, you know, that the military is not really for me because I couldn't do what they do. I could not leave my wife and my family for months and years at a time. And, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where it's hard, you know, it's very hard. And I just want to thank all the men and women out there for their service and time and that they've put in the military. And I just can't thank you enough for what you have done for everybody uh, in this country. This is my first time vlogging in a car and it's kind of hard so uh, the other day I was gonna make a video about the equipment that I use uh, I'll probably throw some b-roll in sometime in this video but I just want to talk about my equipment that I use because I am a what you call a cell phone videographer cell phone vlogger whatever I use a cell phone I don't have a DSLR a fancy mirrorless camera or anything crazy I have the iPhone 8 plus which has a decent camera on it for a cell phone. But I, you know, I use a couple of things to kind of help improve the quality just a little bit. Um, but a few awesome things about the cell phone is it's compact. I can pretty much vlog anywhere. I can pretty much video anywhere because I don't have to have my tripod or my F mount or anything like that uh, or my microphone to vlog or get some B-roll shots. I mean, I can do it myself. Um, so for the convenience, it's very awesome. Now, right now I'm using my front facing camera. So the quality is not the greatest, but it's also not the worst. I mean, for a cell phone, like I said, this is the decent camera. Uh, and I just use the front facing when I'm vlogging just so I can kind of see the colors and see where the focus is and everything. Like I said, I use the iPhone 8 Plus and I have the Manfrotto tripod. Um, I also have an F mount has a leveler in it, let's just say it that way. So like when I just have my tripod sitting on a table, I can see if the camera is level, I can see if everything else is level. Um, and then I'm also using the uh, Movo 
It's kind of their version of the video micro. Um, and it gets decent audio for what I have. You know, I boost it in post and everything. So I'm just gonna show you some a little bit of my setup. Here's some here's some B-roll. Okay, let's talk about a few cons about videoing with a cell phone and vlogging with a cell phone. Obviously, it's not a DSLR. I don't have a nice 50 mil lens or anything crazy to get better quality, get that bokeh effect, get that depth of feel. I don't have any of that. Um, and the quality is, is not the greatest and it's hard to kind of edit and post. I mean, a lot of times you get a lot of that digital noise, especially in the darker like when it started a little bit darker outside if you're filming inside um, you know sometimes I use the moment app so I can get um, my ISO set my shutter speed set but right now I'm just using the camera app on the iPhone um, and so this is the quality that you see from that I mean like you know it's not it's not the worst it's not the best but um, if you're just getting started it works great All right, let's just talk about what I use to edit my videos so I use um, Adobe Rush it's a new app that came out about a month ago um, and so I bought the subscription for that. It's like $14.99 a month or somewhere around there. And it works great for editing on a cell phone. Obviously editing on a cell phone is not ideal. It has a place to boost the audio. You can cut and splice. You can dub over top of things. You can, you know, you can do things that iMovie does not let you do. Um, main thing being color grading and kind of boosting lighting here and there. Yeah, I want to show you guys something. Hopefully, you can hear me. All right, we are actually getting a Top Golf in Greenville, South Carolina. It's right there. Look at it. Oh yeah, I am so excited about that. I am so excited. There's the Eagles on. Freaking disaster, man. There's so many people here. It's our deli. Oh my gosh. So many people. No parking spots. So I'm going to walk in the rain. That's going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. Okay, I found a parking spot, but it is rainy outside, as you can tell. So now I didn't bring my rain jacket. All I have is on is this hoodie. That's it. So uh, I'll see you guys after I get some food and then I'll show you. Ugh, it's wet. Well, I got the food, so let's head back home. Open sesame. Oh yeah, magic. Finally back home, man, it's a long drive in this weather. Okay, well, let's go upstairs and surprise my wife with some lunch. Gosh, it's raining.
Okay, when just starting out on YouTube, there's a few things that I think about. Obviously, just keep making content. Something I struggle with just because of time and as all of us do is creating content. I create a bunch of content, but it's just sitting down to edit it and then trying to post it. For instance, two nights ago, I created this pretty cool video about the gear that I use. I sat down and had awesome lighting in my office. Had some cool effects that I never used before. I spent about two hours editing this video. Well, then I went to upload it and none of my content was there. The joys of technology. Don't we love it? But anyways, the point, uh, point is, use whatever you have. Use whatever tools you have, whether it's iMovie, just this camera that you have just lying around, and create. Just get out there and do it. Because I was talking to my buddy, That Creative Life, his link will be down here below. Um, and, you know, he has a pretty decent YouTube channel, and he's growing, and he's, he's getting better, and all of his content's getting better, and... And he just does it. He posts three times a week. The point of that being, just put content out there. Create it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it out there. You know, and, and Cody talks about that all the time. Cody Warner. And and something that I try to do more of and I'm trying to do more of. Yeah, I, I wish I had a, a Canon SL2. That's my like my dream camera as of right now for what I'm doing. But I, I can't afford it right now. Or I don't have the extra means to get that. So I'm using my iPhone 8 Plus, which I paid $1,000 for. But the point is, get out there and just put content out there. So that's why I'm doing this vlog today, is I just want to put something out there for you guys and let you guys see my life, let you kind of come along. You know, So this channel is called Teach to Inspire because I want to inspire people to do what they're passionate about, to do what they love, or either if they don't know what they love, to find that out. And so whatever it is, whatever you've got to use, use it and create get out there and do something because it's rainy it's nasty outside I'm off today I wanted to go do something awesome get some awesome footage but I'm just creating what what I have to work with I, I went to the deli I pick up some stuff I went to the grocery store so now I'm driving back home in this wet weather and I'm gonna go hang out with my wife maybe get some cool b-roll and footage of our Christmas tree we put that up uh, yesterday because it is the season is coming so I just hope you guys have an awesome day today, and and whatever it is you're doing today, get out there, create, feel inspired to go do something and that you don't normally do, because I don't normally vlog like this, I don't normally have it sit up in the car like this, but I just want to get some content out to you guys so I can try to grow my channel. Right now, I think I'm at 10 subscribers, um, so if you like what you see on this channel, it's all about finding your inspiration and doing what you put on this earth to do, so please click like, subscribe, whatever. Um, and I'll see you soon and I really hope you guys find your inspiration for today. Bye